हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस ए हार्मोन व्हिच इज काइंड ऑफ अनयूजुअल हार्मोन व्हाई डू आई से दैट लेट्स सी हियर इज अ हार्मोन हुज फिजियोलॉजिकल रोल इज अनसर्टन नॉट वेरी क्लियरली नोन अबाउट इट्स फिजियोलॉजिकल रोल पॉइंट नंबर टू डेफिशिएंसी ऑफ दिस हार्मोन इज नॉट नोन टू प्रोड्यूस एनी क्लिनिकल सिंड्रोम्स और मैनिफेस्टेशंस सो इन दैट सेंस this is a very unusual hormone i am talking about calcitonin also called as thyrocalcitonin now before we proceed further and uh, talk about it as an unimportant kind of a hormone uh, let me tell you its importance in one part of life at least look uh, calcitonin is an anti pth hormone parathyroid hormone increases the plasma calcium levels calcitonin decreases the plasma calcium levels and the action is opposite a uh, parathyroid hormone removes the bone calcium and brings it into the plasma so it causes bone resorption calcitonin on the other hand has got the opposite action it removes the plasma calcium and deposits it on the bone thereby preventing the bone resorption preventing the bone resorption you know where is the where is the importance of this it's in the pregnant mothers and du during the lactational period yes uh, during pregnancy the fetal bone formation is going to start and for that there is going to be calcium required for that fetal bone formation who will provide this calcium it is going to come of course from the mother's body uh, and then during the lactational period also milk synthesis will require the calcium from where this calcium will be derived again from the mother's body so therefore the mother is likely to be deprived of the calcium or rather her resources are going to be depleted and this is where calcitonin is likely to play, play a very important role and that is it prevents the bone resorption in the mother so yes it has an important role to play uh, at uh, some places one of them which i mentioned just now so let's know more about this particular unique type of a hormone uh, starting with where is it formed how is it secreted etc so synthesis of this hormone is in the thyroid gland but where you know the structure of the thyroid uh, thyroid consists of the follicles and inside the follicles there is synthesis of the thyroid hormones outside these thyroid uh, follicles outside the follicles there are para follicular cells also called as c cells now uh, i thought c might be calcitonin but actually c stands for clear cell so this clear cell or para follicular uh, c cell uh, synthesizes the calcitonin hormone and since it's a thyroid gland it is also called as thyrocalcitonin uh 32 amino acid residues this hormone has uh, 32 uh, amino acid residues and its half life is less than 15 minutes up to in the range of 10 minutes or so right now secretion when is it that the calcitonin is called upon into action when the thyroid gland is exposed to a plasma calcium of 9.5 mg percent or more than that whenever that happens uh the calcitonin will come into action and it's going to then deposit the plasma calcium onto the bones so remove the plasma calcium and deposit into the bones onto the bones that's the main action of calcitonin hormone apart from this uh, plasma calcium the other uh, stimuli are the gi hormones let's not forget that whenever we consume food stuffs plasma calcium is going to rise and then this plasma calcium is going to be deposited on the bones with the help of this calcitonin so uh, gastrin cck secretin all these gi hormones which are of course released after the consumption of food uh, they will be the stimuli for calcitonin release as well uh, it acts at two places calcitonin action occurs at two places bone and kidney uh, well parathyroid since we are calling it is an anti pth hormone parathyroid hormone 
इंक्रीजेस द प्लाज्मा कैल्शियम बाय रिमूविंग कैल्शियम फ्रॉम द बोन एंड पुटिंग इट इनटू द ब्लड कैल्सिटोनिन हैज गॉट द एग्जैक्टली ऑपोजिट एक्शन इट रिमूव्स कैल्शियम फ्रॉम द प्लाज्मा एंड डिपॉजिट्स इट ऑन द बोन पैराथरॉयड आल्सो एक्ट्स ऑन द किडनी एंड जीआईटी कैल्सिटोनिन हैज एक्शन ऑन द किडनी बट नॉट सो मच ऑन द डाइजेस्टिव ट्रैक सो बेसिकली कैल्सिटोनिन एक्ट्स एट टू प्लेसेस इट्स रिसेप्टर uh is at two places bone and kidney uh it decreases the plasma calcium and phosphate yes one more point to be uh, remembered if you are a first year mbba student and uh, writing an answer on this short note remember uh parathyroid hormone which is a more kind of a celebrated hormone uh, to much talked about uh it increases the calcium reabsorption from the kidney and in exchange for that it causes phosphate urea i'm talking about the parathyroid hormone calcium reabsorption so that calcium comes into the plasma and in exchange for that phosphate urea phosphate is lost into the urine under the influence of pth calcitonin causes increased excretion of calcium as well as phosphate so it acts on the kidney it uh, decreases the reabsorption of calcium as well as phosphate and both will be lost into the urine under the influence of our calcitonin it removes calcium uh, from the plasma and deposits on the bone and thereby it prevents or reduces the resorption of bone bone resorption is prevented and i told you its physiological significance uh, in the pregnant uh, mother and during the lactation uh, it prevents the resorption of bone we have seen that already what else do we know about it yes clinical application uh does it have any clinical application either in the form of uh, important uh, actions or uh, maybe some treatment yes treatment of hypercalcemia naturally because calcitonin decreases the plasma calcium so obviously its uh, role will be in the treatment of hypercalcemia now when this uh, when is it that there is a uh, possible hypercalcemia for instance if there is parathyroid adenoma it's going to increase the plasma calcium or if there is vitamin d intoxication again it will increase the plasma calcium and that is when uh, administration of calcitonin will be useful the other uh, important role that it can have possibly is in the paget's disease uh, of the bone it's a painful condition of the bone and this is where calcitonin can be administered it reduces the pain uh, associated with the paget's disease so that's the clinical application or significance of this hormone finally the discussion will be incomplete if we don't talk about another uh, similar kind of peptide it's called not similar but the name sake that is calcitonin gene related peptide since we talk about the calcitonin talked about the calcitonin i thought i will also include uh, cgrp in this particular video calcitonin gene related peptide it's a neuropeptide so the difference is calcitonin is a hormone uh, calcitonin gene related peptide is a neuropeptide it's going to be released by the nerve endings neurons now uh, why it's called related peptide because there is a gene uh which is the gene for a particular family of uh, ligands alternate splicing of that gene is going to form uh, cgrp amyelin adrenomedullin uh, all these i mean the gene that forms the calcitonin the same gene with alternate splicing will uh, result in the formation of cgrp calcitonin gene related peptide and the other ligands such as amyelin adrenomedullin Uh, cgrp is a potent vasodilator yes very important and potent vasodilator almost as potent as nitric oxide no uh, it is involved it is also possibly involved in the transmission of pain and uh, its levels have been found to increase in the conditions of migraine so this is what is known about 
the CGRP, calcitonin gene related peptide. It's a neuro uh, transmitter and a neuromodulator and uh, the roles that we already are aware of. Uh, what could be the clinical application of this? They are targeting the CGRP uh, in the conditions of migraine. Monoclonal antibodies have been developed against the CGRP so that it, th those antibodies can reduce the pain of migraine. So uh, all the other research is are still going on related to the CGRP. This much is known about it. But this is our hormone, uh, the calcitonin and the related peptide I also included just as to have a wholesome knowledge about this particular ligand.